Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another reaction video. Last time, we reacted to MatPat's latest FNAF theory, but this time, we are reacting to the official ch ch uh, Jesus Christ, teaser trailer. I don't know why I said teaser trailer. I was gonna say trailer, but then I was like, mm, teaser trailer, whatever. We are reacting to the official Five Nights at Freddy's virtual reality help wanted trailer for PlayStation VR. Apparently this was shown at PlayStation's live stream over on Twitch. I don't know the original clip, but if I can find it, it's linked down below. And if I can't, I'll just link you guys this clip. It was uploaded by Fusion Z Gamer, who is a really, really popular um, YouTube channel in the community, in the FNAF community. And he plays lots of FNAF fan games. He's a really cool guy. Definitely go check him out. And he uploaded this to his channel. So I'm guessing it's authentic. I'm guessing it's the real thing. It does say official in the title, but... If it turns out to be fake, then thanks, Fusion. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super hyped for this. I haven't seen anything about it. I literally just saw, um, I think it might have been Nixon who retweeted it on Twitter. And I was like, ooh, I gotta react to that. So, without further ado, what is supposedly the official teaser trailer for FNAF VR Help Wanted? Oh, they're, they're all in color. Alright. Whoa. Ads. Alright, total march. It's a bit quiet. Don't turn around, that's not needed. Here's some first footage. You'll try to survive different levels from the original games, as Whoa. well as all new nightmares. Whoa! So just be aware, the characters do can't be... It's the original phone call. Holy crap! ...has picked up some unwanted friends to clear the infestation. Who the, who the frick is this guy talking? Puppet? Jesus Christ, that thing's massive! Five Nights at Freddy's VR, Help Wanted, is the first virtual reality game in the Five Nights universe. And it's coming to PlayStation VR this spring. This spring?! Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly- This spring?! Bro, we in spring! <laughs> so I was thinking just to end the video here, but I thought, let's take a closer look at the teaser trailer, because... If I wasn't going to do it here, I was going to do it in another video. But here we see loads of monitors. It's going to be a pain to look at all of them. But it looks like down here that looks... Whoa, that's a Toy Freddy plushie, not just a regular Freddy plushie. All right, so oh, this is um, footage for PlayStation VR, but I'm guessing this is just the official um, trailer regardless. So... This looks like maybe one of the Phantoms from FNAF 3. That, kind of hard to tell. That. Oh, you know what? Who, that's Foxy up there, actually. That's Foxy. Down here, that looks like Mangle. That. Oh, what? That just looks like uh, one of the locations. This looks like the FNAF 4 bedroom. That's the bed right there, I'm guessing. Uh, Chica, the puppet. Yeah, that is the bedroom. Something's happening down there. Oh, that's FNAF 4 again. Whoa, 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 wait. We can actually see baby's jump scare. Look up there, bros. Take a look in the top monitor. Whoa, that's a really good jump scare. Holy crap. Alright, and then it zooms in to the stage. Freddy's gone, and then he comes in. And he turns his head.
Find Mr. Freddy's VR. Help wanted. And then we actually see Mango crawling through the vents, which is actually really awesome. And then we got loads of jump scares from all different games. We got Mango's jump scare, um, F Nightmare Fredbear, which it looks more like Freddy, or the color scheme looks a bit like Freddy, but Nightmare Fredbear, the puppet, obviously. Coming soon, Steel Wool uh, Studios. Here's some first then we have the um, the little excited baby dolls, which we learned about in one of the hidden teasers. Here's some first footage. And then, holy crap, we get a whole lot of information in this one clip. So, the plushies are going to be in the closet. First footage. We already knew that. Open the closet. Baby is staring at the bed, which is really... It looks like it's 1 a.m., so I'm guessing we're going to have to survive until 1 a.m. We also hear some clips, um, hear people talking, giving us information about the game. We'll listen to that after we're done with this section. So here's the FNAF 4 bedroom. And Baby's eyes, they're down, or maybe she's just trying to concentrate. But then she hears you open the door, I'm guessing. Or maybe she just senses you're there, I'm not really sure. She turns her head, her eyes glow red, and she runs towards you, which is really awesome. You'll try to survive different levels from the original games, as well as all new nightmares. You should. She says, you should have known I found you. I, I honestly can't remember if we've heard that clip before, but if not, then we've got returning voice actors. Right? Okay. FNAF 1, obviously. Bedroom again. Has picked up some unwanted friends. This is absolutely disgusting. We got Chica in the kitchen, the FNAF 1 kitchen, with cockroaches flying around her face, or crawling around her face. We also hear a new phone guy. Has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear the infestation, apply the Fazbear Entertainment restaurant. Aha. Uh -huh. Good cut there, Scott, or whoever made this trailer. Apply some Fazbear Entertainment something. But I'm guessing that just says, Chica brought back some unwanted friends. And then we dispose of the cockroaches. Which uh, is a bit more than, you know, just repairing them. I guess we're not only a technician, we also deal with pests. But that's pretty cool. Unwanted friends. We get to Today actually see the kitchen in this new VR game. Buy the Fazbear Entertainment Restaurant. FNAF 3. So it looks like... It looks like the monitors have limitations, which really sucks, honestly, but I'm guessing Mangle, Freddy, Foxy, Chica, Puppet, I don't know, I'm guessing each camera has a chance of spawning one of the phantoms, but we see another jump scare, which is really cool. The jump scares in this game are unbelievable. Then we got the, um, uh, what's it called? The, the panel, maintenance panel. Then we have the puppet actually walking towards your office. In FNAF 2, we didn't see that. We just heard the music box whine, and then they were there. <laughs> the lat Five Nights at Freddy's VR, Help Wanted, is the first virtual reality game in the Five Nights universe, and it's coming to PlayStation VR this spring. Yeah, and then it's like, it's coming this spring, which, by the way, if you haven't noticed, we're in spring, so it could drop any moment. Still don't have a VR. Oops. But yeah, um, let's listen to that clip that I said we would go back to. Here's some first footage. You'll try to survive different levels from the original games, as well as all new nightmares. So, that's a very interesting statement. So, obviously we know that we're going to be surviving nights from FNAF 1, Four slash cis location. I'm going to put those under the same category. It actually doesn't... Oh no, we are going to be in cis location because of the Funtime Foxy minigame. So we know four... Uh, let's go in order. We know FNAF 1 from here. FNAF 2 with the puppet. FNAF 3 with the phantoms. FNAF 4 in cis location with obviously the bedroom and Scott's post. Pizza Sim, it doesn't seem like we're going to be adventuring in. And then... Um... Uh, 
Custom Knight, that's not going to be there. Obviously, FNAF World's not going to be there. So, but anyways, this is a awesome trailer. Like, they did a great job with this. I'm, I'm hoping it's authentic. I'm guessing it's authentic. No one would go through this much effort just to make a fake trailer, right? Right? Yeah, this is this is gonna be the best game in. This is gonna be like one of the best VR games out there. I'm not even. That may be me being biased, but I don't know. I've got my I've got high hopes for this game. Yeah, so that was the trailer. Super super well made. I'm so excited for the game. We didn't get many teasers. Well, actually, we got eight teasers technically, but you know, this trailer definitely made up for the lack of teasers. But anyways. I have a feeling, and I'm pretty sure I said this during my videos with the teasers, but I'm, based on what we've seen in the trailer and based on what we've heard the voices say, where it's like, you'll be surviving different nights in all the new locations, or not new, all the different locations from previous games, including some new ones. Um, I'm guessing that the main game is not going to be considered technically canon. Because there's no way we're going to be walking at FNAF 1 and then wait a bit till FNAF 2 opens. And then it opens. And we'll wait a bit for FNAF 3. Or I'm not going in order from the timeline on it, obviously. But, you know, uh, I think it's like FNAF 2 and FNAF... FNAF 2 and Suslocation or Fred Bears. I don't know. I have a feeling we're not going to be... It's not going to follow the timeline, if you know what I mean. Obviously, it's... It's going to reference... Um, events and locations that are in the timeline, but I have a feeling the main gameplay is not going to be canon. There's probably going to be like cutscenes, flashbacks, obviously there's probably going to be secret mini games that we'll eventually find that'll have lore that'll fit into the lore. It'll have lore that'll fit into the lore. Hmm, best sentence I've ever said. But besides that, I don't think the main gameplay is going to be canon. Um, but yeah. That was a good analysis video, good reaction, and well, hopefully you guys are still here. I made a mistake on my previous reaction to Mad Pat's theory. I missed that. I missed the fact that there's going to be a part two coming out in the next week. So yeah, sorry I missed the end of that. I just thought it was more advertising. So super sorry about that. But anyways, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys are excited for the FNAF VR, which will drop sometime this um season in the next month or two which is really crazy to say we haven't had a, a fnaf game drop in like nearly a year it's crazy but i'm so excited hopefully you guys are too and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye